to check out the CM Storm Quick Fire Stealth. This is an upgrade from the uh, Quick Fire Rapid and they've given it the stealth treatment. We've got a stealthy rubber coating all over the entire uh, body of the keyboard. All the keys are blacked out on top and the letters are printed on the front of the keycaps. Now if you want to remove the keycaps, you can see that this one here has the Cherry MX Blue, but you can get it in red, brown, and green. Green are really clicky, blue are pretty clicky as well. Uh, brown, they do require a little bit of force, and red are linear. The Cherry MX switches in this are guaranteed to have a lifespan of 50 million clicks. That's each key, not all together. Now this one's extremely compact. It does not have a number pad. If you want a number pad, they make another one just like this with a number pad. Uh, but this one is for people who want to have quick access to their mouse and they also want uh, a small footprint on the desk. The dimensions are 355 by 135 by 35 millimeters and in inches 14 by 5.3 by 1.4. The weight is 940 grams or 2.1 pounds. Now this one is 2.1 pounds because it has an integrated steel plate for maximum durability, they say. It is really durable. It feels really solid. They've used a lot of really solid quality parts in this. Also, the cable is six feet long and it is removable. It sort of has a microfiber braid on it and it is stiff. Now it's just a standard micro USB cable. So if you wanted to get a longer cable, you can do that with this keyboard. However, the cord that comes with it is extremely sturdy and will probably last as long as the unit does itself. It is gold plated on both ends. Let's take a look at the uh, keyboard itself. Now I mentioned it does have the Cherry MX Blue switches all the way throughout the keyboard. Uh, one thing I really like about this is they've given us the option to go PS2 and they've included an adapter for that. In PS2 mode we have full in key rollover. You can mash every key on this at the same time. Now a lot of people send me emails asking why PS2 is better. Well USB always pulls the hardware whereas PS2 you press the button and it sends an interrupt to your system. So there's less overhead and you also have you know like the full in key rollover. Next up for PS2 we can change our repeat rate and that's when you're holding down any key on the keyboard how fast it repeats. This one has four different levels so you can make it really really fast. They've also given us a keycap remover and we have six extra keys. We have all the WASD keys in red so if you wanted to put them all on there you know make it look a little different with that you can do that. We also have two control sized Cooler Master keys and that will replace either your control, your Windows key, your function key, or your alt key. Now there are two Windows keys on this one on each side of the space bar and you can disable the Windows key. There's only a few LEDs. We got a caps lock LED, we got a number lock LED, and then we have an LED on F9. Now here's what this does. If you hold down function and press F9, it will disable the Windows keys so you can play your games and not have to worry about accidentally hitting a Windows key. Also, you'll notice all of the F keys, they also have media functions. So when you hold down your function button, uh, you can control your media programs and this will work with any Windows media program. Cooler Master might not be known for their sleek minimalistic design, but this unit is just that. It's sleek and minimalistic. The blacked out keys, you know, have a really nice look to them and that's my opinion. Uh, of course, maybe you want something that, that looks like a carnival ride, but this one is really elegant and really nice. If you want a larger one, you can always get the full size stealth. If you want different switches, you can get whichever one you like. The greens are selling very well right now. So a lot of people like the clicky ones. They're hard to find. We couldn't even find them. We had to get blue. But Pistol and I both love the green switches. There really isn't much that I could complain about. It would have been nice to have a USB hub on this, maybe um, a few ports on the back. Other than that, it's built solid. It sounds sturdy. The, the cable is sturdy. 50 million clicks with the uh, Cherry MX switches. The steel plate on the inside, this thing is going going to last quite a long time. So if you're looking for a keyboard with a small footprint, a minimalistic design, this one's a very good way to go and I highly recommend it. Cooler Master Quickfire Stealth is Tech Syndicate approved. <laughs>